everything now. Yeah, yeah, bro, you good, yeah. Yeah. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? We are on Instagram. We are on Instagram. I'm sorry. We're on TikTok. We're on YouTube. We are on Twitter. And we're in a Facebook group as well. Uh, so I just want to welcome everybody into the webinar. We are going to be starting in 11 minutes. Okay. We're going to start in 11 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get our presentation going. Uh, I'll get my timer going on this presentation. Uh, if y'all would, if y'all want to, y'all can feel free to, um, you can feel free to let me know where y'all are watching this from, right? I have worked all over the United States, so I would love to see what city or state y'all are watching this from. If y'all would just comment below uh, where y'all are watching this from. I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, for those y'all don't know. Uh, and we're going to be getting, here, getting started here in a bit. So uh, I'm just doing some housekeeping stuff. I got my phone here. This is where my TikTok live is going to be. Uh, for those of y'all watching on Facebook, I appreciate y'all hopping on here. If y'all watch on YouTube, always happy to see y'all. All my former students, all my current students, always like seeing y'all. And everybody on Twitter, what's going on? Um, we are going to be starting here in a bit, all right? So uh, like I said, if y'all are watching, please comment where y'all are watching this at. I would love to know uh, where you're watching at. Sometimes you'd be surprised I've already handled claims in your city or your state, or I've already lived in your city and your state. Andre, what's going on? Birmingham, Alabama. What's up, Darius? How you doing, man? I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, so, you know, I have uh, spent a lot of time in Birmingham. I never handled claims in Birmingham, Alabama, uh, however, right? So um, that's one place I never got to do that. Angela, what's going on? I did get to handle claims in Mobile, Alabama, though. I got to live and work in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, let me get TikTok Live here going real quick. Um, Independent Justin Live. Let's get them going. You know, being on like four different social networks at the same time, it can be a little bit of a, it can be a little bit of a challenge, but I like a challenge. Ansley, you are in Atlanta, Georgia. I got to work in Atlanta, Georgia already. I lived and worked in Atlanta. Uh, I got to work in Atlanta three different times for for how many different carriers I worked for. I worked for two different carriers on three different occasions in Atlanta, Georgia. For those of y'all just now joining, we're going to be starting the webinar in eight minutes. The webinar starts in eight minutes. Welcome. Welcome, y'all. Uh, I appreciate everybody hopping on here. Uh, let's get, go ahead and get it, get it going. Um, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, too. What's up, Mr. Flip? What's going on? Uh, it's always good to, to see y'all in here. Uh, you have, what license do you have? I think you, you might've put a, you may have put a, um, <coughs> what's the word I'm looking for? I think you misspelled some. Minneapolis, Minnesota, you know, Marcellus, I've never worked in Minneapolis. I've never been to Minneapolis. Um, but I'm sure it's a great city. You know, I never got to handle claims there as a matter of fact. It's kind of strange. I um, I um. There we go. I'm just testing some things out right now. Again, we're just making sure that I can get everybody set up. Get all the all these. There we go. Everything set up. You did your first large loss, three hundred sixty-five thousand dollars. Wow, that's amazing. How long have you been adjusting? How long have you been handling claims? All my TikTok people, I hope y'all are being with me. Let me put y'all in here real quick. Um, yeah, we got a big webinar tonight, everybody. It's going to be a big one tonight. We got a lot to talk about. So, you know, property and casualty. Um, Mr. Flip on my end, it's, it's not showing properly. So uh, some of your words kind of are, are kind of cut off a bit. But um, long story short, it's all good. What's going on, everybody? Hope y'all doing well. As everybody's kind of, I'm gonna I'm gonna be repeat myself a bit as people kind of come in. Like I say, y'all, we are starting at um, at 8 p.m. Eastern time, so we got seven minutes before then. Then you got questions about anything? Also, let me know. Let me know if you got any questions about anything. Um, also, it'll be smart to get your questions out of the way now. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, go ahead and get them out of the way now because in the presentation. 
I won't be able to see everybody's comments. So that is something to keep in mind. All right. Um, and I think y'all know how I, I like to run these webinars. I, I like to uh, entertain y'all, but I like, to, I like to get y'all educated too. Well, so we're going to be doing a little bit of both tonight. Oh, let's get, let's get that taken care of. Got my tripod. All right, here we go. Got my tripod for my TikTok people, so everybody can be in my same line of sight. I don't have to. I don't have to be looking all around. Okay, appreciate everybody hopping on here. Welcome, welcome to the webinar for tonight. Uh, we're doing these once a week now. Everybody, I uh, normally was doing lives like every day, and it was just too tiring. It was just way, way too tiring. So I was like, all right, we got to do this thing a different way. And there we go. There we go. Yes, yeah, it. I think that's going to work. That's going to work on my end, my TikTok end. All right. If y'all just hopping in, let me know where y'all are watching from. There we go. All right. All right. Got my camera here and I got my camera up there. So perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm excited about this webinar. I've, I've been preparing for it. We're going to have slides. Uh, I like doing slides. Uh, normally, I do these presentations off the top of my head, but to help me help me help y'all, I'm I'm being more organized this year, 2024. So I prepped for my webinar. I got my slides ready. And I'm ready to present to y'all. So we'll be, uh, we'll be doing that shortly. We're going to be starting in four minutes, everybody. So uh, if you have not, go ahead and get, uh, you know, your proper note taking material. You know, even though I'm presenting, I still have my, my, my notes ready in case y'all say something that I never heard before. I'm going to be writing it down. So, have, you know, have you some water? You know, it's 8 o'clock. So, well, it's about 8 o'clock. So, some of y'all might be eating dinner while y'all watching this, right? Uh, one thing I want to remind everybody, if you're going to watch this, if you stay tuned to the end, you're going to get a free uh, a free gift, all right? It's going to be in the form of a course, how to become a high-performing independent adjuster. That is going to be free to everybody who stays to the end, okay? So this is planned. This webinar is planned for 90 minutes, okay? This is planned for 90 minutes tonight, um, and we'll be getting into this shortly. We'll go into it. I'll, be, I'll try to keep everything as concise as possible. We'll ask some questions, and from there, we can, go, we can go into it, all right? So, again, thanks for everybody hopping in here. I want to know where you're watching this from. We got people watching from Georgia. We got Minneapolis. We got Atlanta. We got a couple people from Atlanta, Georgia watching this. Uh, if you're hopping in now, I do want to know where you're watching it from. So, if you would, just let me know uh, in the comment section. If you would, just comment below and let me know where you're watching this from. Uh, I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I've worked in uh, – I've worked all over the United States. I've worked all over Canada. I'll get into it in the presentation. But uh, I've been able to see a lot of these places. So um, maybe I have worked in your city. Maybe I've worked in your state. Alabama. We got some more people from Alabama. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What part of Alabama, Bill? We got Florida in the house. Mikey, what's up? What's, what, part of, what part of Florida? Uh, Atlanta, Georgia. We got a third person from Atlanta. Y'all, just so y'all know, Atlanta, Georgia is an independent insurance adjusting hub, okay? There, there are more than one uh, firm there. There's more than one firm there. And more than one carrier there, right? So most people think about State Farm. I got to work for State Farm, but I also got to work for some other carriers as well while I was living and working in Atlanta. Meridian, Mississippi. Freddie, you are right down the street from me, man. You are right down the street. You did near, near Dothan. I, I know about Dothan, Alabama. Uh, Meridian, Meridian, Mississippi. Y'all down the street from Tuscaloosa. I know a lot of folks that came from Meridian used to come down to Tuscaloosa. So y'all, y'all are next door neighbors. Dothan, I've only been to Dothan like once or twice ever. Uh, and if you're near Dothan, I mean, wherever you, where you wherever you're from is small in Dothan. But um, again, everybody, thanks everybody for hopping in. We got two minutes before we join. I'm excited. I hope you're all getting excited. Get Golf State's license. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, Mr. Flip, we're going to get into all that, okay? We're going to get into all that about licensing and all those other things, right? We are here to dominate in 2024, and this webinar is going to set you up to do that, okay? So 
Um, again, as we get started, as we are having everybody join in, I will say I do appreciate all y'all. Hey, do I already know a smaller country? If you said if Dothan is your reference point for for where you live, where you're from, I know it's going to be a, a little small, a little country, but it's okay. It's all good. I think Alabama is all small in country. That's all we we are at, back at home. So uh, I get it. Um, I do appreciate everybody for hopping in here tonight, uh, spending some time with me. I hope that we all get to get something from this tonight as well. Uh, good night, Sharon. What's up, man? Where you, where you calling in from? Where you, where you tuning in from? We are on three different social networks right now. So if I don't see everybody's comments at one point or another, just bear with me. I will be answering questions as we get into it. Okay. Uh, Florida, what part of Florida are you watching from? Florida is a big place. I worked all over Florida. Uh, Newark, New Jersey. You know, I've only, I've only, I've been in Newark. I've been to, uh, to Princeton. I've been to Orange, New Jersey. Yeah, I've been to all those places in New Jersey, but I never, I never worked in Newark. That's for sure. Um, Newark is like right across the street from New York, right? Right across the street. No, but it's like right, right across that. That river, I think. Is that is that correct, Sherwin? But uh anyway, anyway, y'all, we are gonna be hopping in here and talking about independent adjusting. Uh Tampa, Florida. I have worked Tampa, Florida before. What's up, George? How you doing? Uh yeah, I've worked Tampa before. I've worked Fort Myers, I've done Panama City, I've done Miami, I've done Boca Raton, I've done Hollywood. Yeah, I worked all over Florida. I've handled claims. I've lived and worked all over Florida, and I've also handled claims basically in probably 80% of the counties in Florida, whether in person or or um, in, as a desk adjuster or a motor adjuster. So, yeah, I handle, I handle a bunch of stuff in Florida because Florida gets a lot of damage, right? Florida is a beautiful place. It is a beautiful place, and it's a great place to make a bunch of money as an adjuster. Y'all, it is, it is 8 p.m. Eastern time. It is 8 p.m. Eastern. We're going to go ahead and get started now. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm just going to just check real quick and make sure something real quick. I'm just make sure that we got, we are live on every, um, live on every different platform that we want to be on. We want to be on Twitter. We want to be on, all right. So y'all are talking on, on Twitter. Y'all talking on YouTube, y'all talking on TikTok. So everybody's here. All right. So storm season was slow this year. It was slow this year. We'll talk about that. You know what? Let's talk about it now. We'll talk about that and then we'll get into the webinar. So um, the reason why, the reason why it was slow in 2023 was because of El Nino. We had an El Nino year and El Nino created a wind shear where it didn't allow hurricanes to go into the Gulf of Mexico. And it pushed all these hurricanes out into the, the Atlantic Ocean. Because of that, we didn't have a big hurricane season. Normally, we would have. Now, the good thing about El Nino is it doesn't happen every single year. And it also what El Nino does is it also creates stronger winter weather, like that polar vortex, like the polar vortex we saw happen recently in the States where everything froze up and we had burst of pipes and everything. That is one of the... the, the the things that happen because of El Nino. Now, with that being said, 2024, El Nino is expected to end between March and April of this year. What does that mean for 2024? It means we're going to go back to business as normal as it relates to hurricane season. Okay. So what we saw last year, which was a, which was a super slow hurricane season, we're not going to see it again in 2024. All right. You got to know your weather systems. Once you know your weather systems, y'all, this helps y'all out a whole lot. I'll teach y'all more about this as we get into the webinar. Okay. But now we're going to go ahead and get into the webinar. All right. So we were just warming up, making sure everything was where it needed to be at. Let me get my TikTok people over here so you can see the presentation. All right, everybody. So now is the time for us to do this presentation. I'm going to be uh, looking at my slides. I won't be able to see y'all's comments. I will get to the Q&A section. Uh, at, I will pop out just so I can see the, the questions here and there. But if y'all don't see me uh, answering questions, it's because I can't see them, okay? So bear with me. 
bear with me all and we're going to go ahead and get to it don't mind this phone this is just for my tiktok crowd all right all right so let's go ahead and get into it so let's go ahead and get present let's present this um where we at where are we at i need to do a oh yeah here we go all right let's get this presented present there we go boom all right let me make sure y'all can see everybody can see this right i just want to make sure i'm gonna stop sharing for a second to make sure can everybody see that and when i share the screen oh no y'all can't see it yet there we go now y'all can see it all boom there we go present there we go just like that bam yeah, that's it right there okay now here we are here's the webinar uncovering the hidden fortune of independent adjusting welcome everybody just like i said already y'all thank y'all so much for hopping in on this webinar i appreciate everybody uh taking the time taking the time out of your day to spend some time with me as we talk about independent adjusting my promise to you on this webinar is i'm going to give you information that you can use to dominate and not participate in the independent adjusting industry in 2024 all right um, I, I think that whenever we, whenever we're talking about independent adjusting, we're talking about changing our financial lives. And so this is something I take serious. And so I hope y'all are taking it serious because, uh, I wanted somebody like me, uh, eight years ago when I got into the business and I didn't have that. And so now I want to be there for other people. Right. And so as I'm sharing this information, y'all take advantage of it. All right. Uh, here's a disclaimer. Um, y'all might not earn as much as I ever earned in your first deployment or your second deployment, right? But I can say with almost 100% certainty that you won't, you won't make that kind of money. You won't make a huge amount of money in your first deployment, but I can and will show you how to increase your income to at least $8,000 a month as an independent adjuster. All right. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to try to sell dreams to anybody. I want to keep everybody very realistic about uh, what they can do. We're gonna, I'm gonna be sharing testimonials also throughout this, this presentation that you're gonna see some people do some amazing things. But we do wanna make sure that we know that, hey, everybody doesn't make $15,000 their first month in the business, the first two months in the business. For some people it might take six months or a year before they get that. But this business does pay well, just so everybody knows that, all right? Uh, now, again, like I said earlier, for those of y'all who stay until the end, you're going to get a free gift. And that free gift is uh, a course called How to Be a High Performing Independent Adjuster. Um, if you stay to the end, you're going to get that. It's going to be a free link. All you got to do is click the link and you'll get it. All right. Now, who am I? For those of y'all who do not know me, my name is Steven Story. I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I've been a licensed independent adjuster since December 2015. Uh, here we are in 2024. So I'm going into year nine in this business. Uh, I've handled all types of claims over the years. So I've handled, uh, I've handled auto claims. I uh, started out in total loss and auto PIP. I got into property adjusting. I got to do some commercial adjusting. I've done field adjusting. I've done remote adjusting. I've worked in Canada a couple times. I've handled contents claims. I've done hail, painless dent repair. I've done all types of claims. And I've been hired over uh, 20 times. I've gotten to work in 15 different cities. Back before y'all were doing all this remote work, we used to have to go on the road a lot as independent adjusters. And because of that, I got to live and work all over the United States and I got to live in Canada as well. So it's been a great run for me as an independent adjuster. And I want to teach you how to do some of the same things, like how we go about getting hired, how we go about getting rehired, how we go about having a, having a great reputation as an adjuster, how we network, all those things we're going to be talking about tonight. All right. I'm going to tell you all a bit about the success I have teaching other independent adjusters as well. So um, I have taught I have taught over 4000 uh, people over the last three years. I've gotten over 600 people hired as independent adjusters. And it has been a pleasure doing it. I've gotten to see so many people change their lives uh, in this business. And I want to help people just like y'all who are watching this right now. I want to help y'all to get into this business. So uh, here's this is not a student testimonial, but this is a professional testimonial. Uh, this is from another professional. He says, hey, I've been in the insurance business for 25 years in all aspects of the business. I currently have my own public adjusting business uh, for the last 10 years. I'm seeing this message because your advice is on point. Keep it up. Now, 
Are y'all ready to learn? Okay. We got the introduction out of the way. Are y'all ready to learn? All right. So what we need, uh, what we're going to need for the rest of the webinar, if y'all not in a quiet place, let's get in a quiet place. Let's get in a quiet place. Let's um, get focused and pay attention to what's going to be coming out, coming next. Um, some of these things y'all might have heard before. Some things you may not have. All right. Uh, but I want to be sure that you're taking notes. I am presenting from a slide, but I do not have a lot of descriptions in my slides. So what y'all see, what y'all see, y'all still need to take notes on because uh, I, don't, I don't type everything I write, type everything that I say. OK, so first things first is going to be um, the process of becoming independent adjuster. Now, everybody here, some of y'all might already be adjusters already as it is, but some of y'all are not. So. Uh, what I want to do is, is go through the process of how we go about getting licensed as adjusters. For those for my people who are brand new, don't know anything about this business. Um, so first thing you got to do is you got to purchase a pre-licensing course. All right. For those of y'all who don't know, you got to go through Adjuster Pro. Uh, you got Kaplan. You got um, WebCE. You got 360 Training. You got a lot of different places where you can buy a pre-licensing course. First thing, first step is getting a pre-licensing course. Once you find out about this business and you're like, hey, I want to be a adjuster, to be eligible to get work, you have to get your license. First step is purchase the course. Next thing you got to do, you got to study the course. Uh, I have a lot of people that go through and they can't pass the, the course for whatever reason, and they don't know why. And I'm going to tell you why. Usually people aren't studying properly or they're not studying uh, thoroughly enough. Like they'll go through their quizzes once and then try to take the, the, the state exam and they usually fail. And it's because they're not taking the quizzes enough. OK, so you want to take a quiz and take it over and over again until you get at least a 90 percent on each quiz. All right. Uh, and then from there, passing your pre-licensing course. Uh, that's your first group of activities to do. Next thing we, we can't forget is. Our background check, fingerprints, and documentation. First thing, fingerprints. That's super simple to do. You can go into a police department or to like a FedEx or a post office and they'll get it done for you. Next thing is your documentation. Okay, you, you got to be a, a resident of the United States to get into this business. Okay, so uh, if you are not eligible to work in the United States, this not you're not going to be eligible for this. Last but not least is your background check. If you cannot pass a background check for whatever reason, you're, you're more than likely not going to be an adjuster. Uh, what would have you not be able to pass a background check is going to be things like you are a felon uh, or you have been charged with a crime like fraud or, or uh, theft or something involving moral turpitude. So if you have doubts about the background check, you all need to contact the Department of Insurance for your state and ask them, hey, am I eligible? This is what I have going on. This is my misdemeanor. This is my felony. Some felons are still eligible to be independent adjusters. Not all. OK, so before you go spend a bunch of money, if you feel like you have a background check that might raise some red flags, contact the Department of Insurance first to save yourself some time and some money. OK. Anybody questions about that? Anybody got questions about any of that? Let's go check. Let's go see if y'all got questions. All right. Tashina, good evening. All right, everybody's in there. All right, so let's get back into it. Boom. All right. Boom. Present. All right, let's get back into it. So next thing, oh, next thing after we get our license is certifications. Um, so first thing is, is finding certifications to get. Now, uh, I find that a lot of adjusters, they'll run through and just get, they'll try to get all these random certifications. I'm not going to go too deep into it today because I'll start ranting about this. I'll get on my soapbox and I really don't want to do it. Y'all do that. with y'all tonight because I need to be, I need to be succinct about all these things. Right. But um, you want to find some certifications to get, you usually do this through IA firms. Okay. Action step number two is you're studying your certification material. Every, certification is not easy. Some are, are quite hard. These exact certifications, you got to study, you got to practice, right? And you might have to go through a course. Uh, state form estimatics is another one you're going to have to study for, okay? 
So you got to get that study material so you can perform at a high level when it's time to take these tests. Next, we got classes to attend. We have certifications like HAG. We have certifications like, uh, like I said, Exactment, SimBility, uh, NFIP, USAA certifications. Some of these certifications are going to be live certifications you can do uh, on a computer. And you also have some you can do it in person. It just depends. Right. Uh, once we get certified, the reason why we're getting certified is so we can stand out from other adjusters. We can't do that if we don't update our resume. All right. So for key activity number two, we got to update our resume so we can let people know we're certified. OK. Some of these certifications are going to come with PDFs saying that you're certified. They come, some might come with physical certifications. Again, that's where documentation comes in. You want to keep that on you or on your resume or in a file or in a folder in your computer. So if a, a iframe asks you, you can present that to them uh, when needed. All right. I'm going to stop for a second. Anybody got questions about anything? Does anybody have any questions about anything as we're um, as we're talking about this? OK, so stop for a second. Questions about anything about that process, about getting licensed or getting certified. Is everybody got a is everybody clear on everything? Is this, is this making sense so far to everybody? Show of hands if it's making sense. If it ain't making sense, let me know now. OK. I will stop for a second and, and make sure I got some some hands up. I need to let y'all need to let me know. Hey, Steve, this makes sense or it don't make sense. You explain as well. Let me know now. Question what you got, Sean? So just Dwayne, is it? Yep. All right. Anybody else? who else? Is this making sense for everybody? Am I being straightforward for everybody so far? Uh, save all those questions. Save them questions about resumes, stuff like that to the end. Okay. We're going to get there. We got some more to go. It's making sense. Bill says it's making sense. All right, let's get back into it. All right. Um, Dwayne and Sherwin, go ahead and write those questions down. When I come back in, I will, uh, I'll see that question. Okay. I'll see that question. I'll answer. Sure, I'm going to answer that question later, okay? Uh, uh, Dwayne, I'm going to answer that question later, all right? Entire screen, allow, boom. We're going to get back into it. All right. Present. All right, so we went over licensing and certifications. Here's one of my testimonials from a student. Fast forward. He said, I got my first employment, as, and, and I, then after that, I got my supervisor role. I've crossed a hundred thousand dollars all from work while working from home. I want to make sure I let you know. Looking at the message of love is nuts. When he was sending me messages in the beginning, he was just trying to get into the business of adjusting. You know, and he became one of my students, willing to make six figures from home. Right now, this is the hiring process, y'all. This is something that trips up a lot of adjusters. All right, uh, I understand why it does because. If you don't network properly, if you don't know, if you don't know a lot of adjusters, if you don't know the the how and the why behind these things, getting deployments can be quite difficult. Okay, so knowing when IAs get hired, I think is a key activity. That's a big point. That's a big uh, way. A, a big way. It's a big uh, set of information you need to know so you can get hired. Uh, so first one is networking. All right, you don't, you're not going to know when IAs get hired. If you don't know any IAs, you don't, you're not going to know when IAs get hired if you don't know any IA firms, right? Number two is knowing the seasons of adjusting. You know, like, like for example, here we are in January. We should not be talking about hurricane season whatsoever. Why? Because we got hell season coming up. So if you're an adjuster and you think that, oh, man, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for hurricane season, you might be waiting eight or nine months and you might miss other opportunities. So we need to know when the seasons of adjusting are. We also need to know that we need to know other adjusters. We need to network with other adjusters. It's going to help us out a lot. And by doing these two things, these two actions, we're going to know when the hiring process starts. We're going to know who's hiring, when they're hiring. Uh, next thing is knowing who's hiring. So we, we talking about knowing when, we need to know who. You got to apply to IA firms. You got to network with IA firms. Y'all, if y'all watch me on the internet, y'all watch me on the internet. You watch me on a social media platform. There are tons of IAs on every platform that y'all watch me on, whether it's TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, uh, wherever y'all watch me at, there's IAs there. You need to get friendly with them. Okay, we got to network with them. 
Now, applying and network with, networking with IA firms is completely different, everybody. Does it make sense? Does this make sense for everybody? Applying and networking with IA firms is completely different from networking with IAs exclusively, okay? Because there's a lot of things that IAs don't know because you might be network, networking with a bunch of people that got a year experience or six months experience or only, they've only had one deployment. So they only have a limited amount of knowledge, all right? So as much as we network with IAs, we need to network with IA firms. This answers two questions for us. When are they hiring and who are they hiring? Okay, by doing those two action steps. Um, questions, you know, I'm, I'm gonna stop for a second. Now I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna let Jacob, I'm gonna let Jacob sit there for a second. Let's get an answer to questions real quick. All right. Um, so we had two questions. What's the best or recommended reciprocal state to get a license in? All right, so just so everybody knows, this is not in the presentation, but since, since Cheryl and asked, I'm gonna let you know real quick. You gotta have five licenses, just so everybody knows. You need to have your home state license. All right, you need to have your home state license plus four states. All right, I recommend the Gulf states, Alabama, Alabama, North, the Carolinas, Florida, Texas, Georgia, Mississippi, Louisiana. Pick from there, pick from there, and get your licenses out of those. So five licenses in total, but pick from the Gulf states. All right. Um, does it make sense to have information like being a real estate agent? I mean, you, you've had jobs before you've been an adjuster. So add your work history. That's fine. It, you know, some, some jobs are going to weigh heavier towards IA firms and others. Like if you were a roofer or something like that, you were a contractor. You know, you might have an insurance agent, something like that. Those things weigh heavier, but, you know, if you're a real estate agent, customer service, whatever it is, put it on your resume. All right, that's what you did for a living before you're an adjuster, put it on there. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Uh, why the Gulf States first, Maria? So the reason why we, we want to pick the Gulf States first because the Gulf States have a lot of weather events, okay? Because they have a lot of weather events, they have a lot of claims, Okay? So that's going to be advantageous for us, okay? It's going to be advantageous for us uh, as we get into different different seasons of uh, weather, right? Uh, the Gulf states, they get a ton of damage, all right? They get a ton of damage during hurricane season, and they also get hail damage as well. So uh, that's where you get the most bang for your buck. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of carriers that have coverage in the Gulf states as well. So I hope that answers your question, Maria. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get back, back into we're gonna get back into this presentation. Okay, we're gonna say you got any, anybody got any questions? Save it for when I hop back in here. Boom, let's get in there. Present. All right. Hi, my name is. This is a testimonial from Jacob. Hi, my name is Jacob. I'm a student of Stevens Roadmap to Becoming an Independent Insurance Adjuster. Um, I just finished up my very first year in the business. Um, and I've made over $280,000 in personal income as a 23 year old. So um, just wanted to give my testimonial. Um, if you are on the fence thinking about it, not sure whether it's um, worth the money, things of that sort, I can guarantee, personally guarantee you it is well worth the money if you are willing to put in the work and listen to exactly what Steven has to say step by step, because that's what he'll do. He'll walk you through step by step exactly how to be successful in this business. He's one of the one of the best in the business, and um, I would highly encourage anybody uh, to to take that leap and um, uh, become an independent adjuster. It is well worth um, the the time and, and the money to uh, put up front and and get started. Um, now. I've seen this. I'm only 23. Um, I've seen people, basically everybody I've met is well older than me. And like a lot of the girls and, and guys that I started with on my first deployment have also become extremely successful in the past year. So I've seen this work with uh, change so many people's lives. And um, I would encourage you to, uh, if you're on the fence about becoming a student of Stevens, I would highly, highly encourage you. I mean, he's, he's one of the best in the business. And uh, teaching it, and uh, it'll get you there. So, 
Um, that's all I've got. Everybody uh, stay blessed and uh, hope you found this video helpful. All right. So we got Jacob there. We got Jacob talking about me and my courses and all that stuff. But he did $280,000 in his first year in the business. This is amazing. I was so happy to see him do this and, uh, and to do it at a young age. At 23 years old, like, if Jacob could do this, if he could get in this business and do uh, everything, like, everything like I said, like he was talking about in the video, if he can do everything like I said, step by step and hit two hundred eight, he, he hit $283,000. That was a number. 283K was the number he hit in one year. And that just excites me. I hope it excites y'all. I mean, is that is that not phenomenal for y'all? Um, that's a phenomenal thing for me. Um, so how long from the beginning when you start getting your first license to when you make your first dollar? Brian Nicholson. Thank you, Brian, for asking that question. Um, Brian, here's the thing. Everybody is different because everybody gets in at different times. Everybody is working at their own pace as far as how fast they go about getting hired, how fast they go about uh, getting deployed, right? So uh, for me, for example, it took nine months. It took nine months for me. Now, I didn't have my, me. I didn't have my courses or anything like that. I didn't have anybody teaching me. So it took me a long time. I've had students that get in and get hired in 45 days. I've seen them do it in 60 days. I've seen people do it in 90 days. I've seen people do it in six months. I've seen people do it in two years. It all just depends on what they're doing, right? What they're doing to get hired every day, all right? There's a lot of variables there. Um, and then it also, is the, is the, it depends on the season, the season they're in, right? Uh, for a lot of new adjusters that got in, they got licensed last August, expecting a hurricane season. They didn't get that because it wasn't a hurricane season, right? So they, they're waiting a lot longer to get their first, their first dollar, right? So it all depends. Um, in a busy season, in a busy year, usually people can get in and get, get in and get licensed and get hired within... 45 to 60 days during regular times. Now, when things are slower, like last last fall, it could be just, it, 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 you know, it's really luck of the draw when it's really slow like that. So, and it also depends as well, y'all, on if you're doing field adjusting, if you're doing desk adjusting, if you're doing remote, uh, what you're, you're available to, right? For those of y'all know, we have a lot of different niches in this business. My field adjusters, they can get in pretty quickly because there's a lot of uh, work all around the United States. My remote adjusters is gonna be a little bit slower and it's gonna be a little more competitive. My remote adjusters is gonna be even more competitive to get out there and get their first employment. So it's a lot of variables there, Brian, so I don't wanna sell you on one thing. Now, if you wanna be a field adjuster and get to it, hey, field adjusters get hired real quick. But after that, it's a slower process for everybody else. And it also depends on if you're following the correct process to get hired. If you're out here just doing things your way, you can be, you can be waiting a while. Okay. So that being said, let's, uh, let's get back into it. Okay. Um, present. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, here we go. All right. So showing y'all some testimonials. That's Jacob, $208,000. Jacob was my highest earning student. Hi, my name is Jacob. Oops. Jacob is my highest earning student so far. Okay. And all in my three years, in my three years of teaching this business, um, I've had students do 100, 150, 170, 180, but he probably has out earned my best, my second best student by about $100,000. All right. So, next thing, y'all, let's get into it secrets of independent adjusting. Your belief pattern is holding you back from success. Y'all, I get to talk to so many people about independent adjusting. And I get to talk to a lot of adjusters, a lot of first year adjusters, a lot of adjusters who got their, you know, they got an employment for two weeks or three weeks. They got released and they don't know really, they don't know what to do next, or they're licensed, and they're kind of waiting around. And I want to go over three belief patterns that I find that people that hold themselves back from having serious success. Uh, one is a belief pattern around money, money, a belief pattern around time, and a belief pattern around experience. So let's get into it. So belief pattern number one, the belief that becoming an independent adjuster will cost thousands of dollars. Y'all, listen, I wouldn't just say becoming an adjuster, but also becoming a successful adjuster will cost thousands of dollars. And I don't believe that that is the truth, okay? Um, I believe that, I believe that 
what we can invest into this business and what we can get out of it is we can make exponential amounts of money based on the money we spend or the money we invest into our business, right? So uh, I view independent adjusting as a business. So I view all of you all as either current business owners or potential business owners. Now, if you want to invest $100 into your business, you're going to get $100 types of results. If you spend a few hundred bucks, you'll get a few hundred dollars worth of results. I have spent thousands of dollars in my in my career over over the years, not all at one time, but it gave me certifications I needed that got me into deployments making eighteen thousand dollars a month. It got me into deployments that I was working in Canada and you know working in Texas and Florida and Atlanta and all that stuff. So I invested. I invested some money. I had to invest a ton of money and I never had to invest a lot of money all at one time to become an adjuster or to become a successful adjuster. Now, with that being said, if we look at how much we invest to become a, a, a to get a college degree, we're looking at $48,000 on average. $48,000 when the average person is making, what, around $50,000 a year? Okay. As an independent adjuster, you can, you can invest 48 times less, all right, 48 times less, uh, not 40 times less, like 40 times less than you would in, uh, to get a college degree. And you can you can out earn college degree uh, or college diploma, uh, college degree owners. You can double their pay every single year by just getting into this business and excelling in it. Right. So uh, here's one of my here's one of my students. Uh, I went from dead end jobs living paycheck to paycheck. To twenty four to twenty five dollars an hour, my first appointment with no experience, and now at three hundred fifty dollars a day with only two months of experience. My last check was twenty eight twenty one hundred dollars uh, gross for forty eight hours of work. So here we are. Here's a woman who got in, got into my program, and then went on to increase her income. Y'all, we're talking about we're talking about putting money in, get money out, right? We want to put some money in, we get some money out, and make a solid investment around independent adjusting. That's how we're going to do it. OK, uh, how much money is actually needed to become an adjuster? Now, again, if you are an adjuster, you already know this. If you've never been an adjuster before, let's break it down. So um, you're going to need anywhere from one seventy nine to uh, three hundred dollars to get your state license and uh, pre licensing course from there to get four or five licenses. Each license will cost anywhere from one hundred to one hundred twenty five dollars, more or less. Grand total is going to cost you about $1,000, okay, between licenses, pre-licensing course, and a couple certifications, all right? So instead of having to spend forty-eight grand to get a college degree, this just to be eligible to work at some of these jobs, you can spend $1,000 and go in and have the tools you need to have an income of making, you know, six figures every single year, okay? So that's your first secret. You don't need that much money to be an independent adjuster, all right? Is that is that is that nice? Sign y'all like for me, like I went to college, I dropped out of college, but like I wish I had known about this. I wish I had got a chance to like, yo, Steven, you want to be an independent adjuster? Yes, go do it at 19 years old as opposed to having to wait and spend all this money and get a student loan. And y'all, y'all already know I'm preaching to the choir. I know a lot of y'all know this already, okay. Here we go. We got another one. We got we have a student that's made fifteen thousand dollars in forty five days. He's worked every day since he's been on deployment. It's one of his testimonials, All right? So I bought a lot of courses, but none of them had me making fifteen thousand dollars in forty five days. Uh, so next belief, Brian touched on this a second ago. Uh, he asked, "How long will it take from you know get my license to get my first dollar?" The belief that becoming an independent adjuster will take a lot of time, y'all. I'm here to tell you. It, it, it can be frustrating. It was frustrating for me, you know, nine months. It took me nine months to get into the business of independent adjusting. And I just was like banging my head against the wall. I'm like, yo, when is this going to stop? Like, I, I want to work, uh, but I just didn't, I didn't have a system of getting hired. So I was just like kind of just waiting and waiting and waiting, kind of just hanging out. I have a friend of mine, Justin, it took him two years. It took him two years because he didn't have a tried and true method of getting hired. OK, he was trying things his way, as was I. And we were just burning time. We burnt so much time. Right. So um, and then we look at like, 
you know, some Facebook groups are more more positive than others. But we look at these things like, man, why in the world is it taking me so long? And I'm seeing other people get hired so quickly. I don't want to keep waiting as long. Right. And that goes around the idea that we just we don't know. We don't we don't know. Right. And so then we begin to have this belief that, well, it must take a long time to be an adjuster. I don't know if I had that kind of time. I got other things I want to do. I could go be a real estate agent. I go get a tech. I don't want to wait a year to go make this kind of money. Okay. Here's another one. Two weeks ago, I passed after I passed my license. I found a deployment making $43.75 an hour. This IA money is for real. Steven's stories course is so good. I encourage anyone to go get it. It could change your life. Real quick, what would $43 an hour at 60 hours a week, at 70 hours a week, what would that kind of money do for you? You know, would that help you out? Would that would that help you pay your bills a little bit more? Would that help ease some stress making that kind of money? All right. I know that kind of money helped me out a ton when I got in this business, you know, making forty three dollars an hour after two weeks after you pass. So look at this. You don't have to wait a long time. Right. If we know, like I talked about it to you all earlier, if we know who's hiring, when they're hiring, if we do our networking properly and we get our licenses, the licenses we need. And we follow a process that works, y'all. It's a process I teach step by step. He went from two weeks ago being passed, you know, passing his license course, passing all his courses and everything, to working and making great money at that, right? So uh, let me explain the actual time investing need to become an independent adjuster. Now, this is what I believe, just based on uh, what I get to see from a lot of adjusters. Usually it takes anywhere from 30 to 45 days for most people to get a license. OK, so it's pre-licensing course to state exam is 30 to 45 days from there. From there, what I usually see, it depends on how quickly they're willing to hustle. Right. So this is a competitive business. This is this does have a hustle element to it. If you're properly calling IA firms, asking questions, networking online, you can get hired fairly quickly. All right. I would say in 90 days, most people can get hired, excluding last fall. OK. All right. Last fall was a, was an anomaly. Excluding last fall, most people can get hired within three months from license to working within three months. If you're really pushing, you can get it done much faster than that. But again, it depends on what season you're in and what type of claims you're trying to handle. It's making sense for everybody. I'm stop for a second. Is this making sense for everybody? Let's go have a look. I want to make sure. Uh, is it easy to watch, switch back and forth between field and remote? You can go from deployment to deployment, and that's not something super hard. Um, I trained before deployment is a must. Yes, Mr. Flip, it is. It's been, it's been a year for me, and I'm still trying. What's up, Missy? Yeah, I, Missy, we didn't talk about this already. Missy, I know Missy already. We already had this conversation. Now, again, y'all, for all y'all who just started, if you've got license in the last 12 months, I understand why it was harder for you. And that was because one, you don't have a system that, that, that you don't have a system that you can depend on as far as how you go about getting hired. But also, also the other hard part is you don't know. Uh, you don't you didn't know that El Nino is coming and, you know, we're going to have a hurricane season. Most of y'all who, who had a hard time getting hired. If we had a hurricane season, you already be working. You already be experienced adjusters. OK, so don't think that you, you just did something so wrong. Uh, most of it had it came down to not having a hurricane season last year. All right. Now, let's get back into it. Uh, see, I got to stop. I got to stop stopping this presentation to talk to y'all. Uh, do you recommend a cover letter for your resume? No. No, one page resume, I do the trick. All right. Um, all right, let's get back into it. Y'all, y'all like this so far? Is everybody liking this so far? Y'all, y'all getting something out of this so far? Let me know. Let me know before I get back into this. I hope y'all are getting something out of this. I hope y'all are getting some information. Uh, I'm trying, I always try to do my best around uh, how y'all are educated, right? Because um, it's my responsibility, in my opinion. If I don't teach y'all, if I'm not helping y'all move forward, I'm not doing what I wish was done for me. You know, I know what it feels like to be waiting and waiting like, yo, what's going on? Like, what, what, 
what am I doing? You get discouraged, right? And so um, as much as I feel that I felt that way, I want to make sure that y'all don't feel that way, right? I want to make sure y'all know that if somebody care about y'all, give a damn about y'all, give a damn about y'all success. Because unfortunately, in our business as independent adjusters, we are independent. All right, it ain't a team job. It's not a team. It's not a team sport. This is a this is an independent thing, and so sometimes it, it can be quite hard to get information, especially when you're looking for it. Right? We might get a little blurb here. We might get a little article there, but uh, I try to do my best for all y'all, uh, whether y'all my students or not. I want y'all to learn. Okay. So anyway, let's get back into it. Let's get back into it, Brian. I'm gonna answer these questions in a second now. Sure, I'm gonna answer your questions in a second. Let me just get through this, okay? Uh, dang, government Brian, that's a good question. I'm answer right now. Ah, oh, man, come on, man. You should, you gotta let me just, you gotta let me get through this stuff, bro. Does yearly income depend on how bad the weather is every year? No, we don't just handle weather claims, everybody. Independent adjusters do not just handle weather claims, and we're not just tied to weather. Okay, we have a ton of car accidents in this business. My first 12 months as an independent adjuster, I only handled car wrecks. I wasn't handling wildfires. I wasn't handling hurricanes, floods, none of that. It was car wrecks. Okay. Another thing that people don't know about the business, we got daily claims. Toilet overflows and bursted pipes and fires and vandalism and death. All that goes under daily claims. It has nothing to do with the weather. So we have whole niches in our business that have nothing to do with weather all right so don't think that everything's just a weather claim everybody now here's another student success story from the time i started the course to getting a deployment was less than two months less than two months is april y'all the slack group is amazing knowledge resources and genuine people wanting everyone to win the addition to the course like the claim handling uh like claims handling going over policy policy and resume tips are all just bonuses to an already polished course okay i'm gonna get into this in a little while but for now, I'm just giving you all more testimonials. The belief that getting hired as an independent adjuster requires a lot of experience. This is a belief pattern that I just want to just shake y'all. I want to shake so many of y'all when y'all bring this up to me. Well, Stephen, you know, I got my license and it's going, it's taking a long time. I think I'm going to go staff. I'm going to go staff so I can get some experience. Ah, come on, man. Y'all be frustrating me with this. Well, I got my license and, you know, I got my certifications and, now I think I just need a bunch of experience. and I get a bunch of experience, then I'm going to get licensed. Then I'm going to get hired. Y'all, this could not be farther from the truth. You do not have to have experience to get licensed, everybody. You do not have to have experience to get licensed. I had zero experience and I got licensed. I have, listen, y'all, I have taught over 4,000 people and I've gotten over 600 people hired. Out of those 600 people, probably 590 of them had zero experience as independent adjusters before they got their first deployment. Okay. And this holds a lot of people back. A lot of people, let's go into this, y'all. So let's go into what do you need to be uh, hired or to be eligible to be an independent adjuster? First thing you need, you need to have a high school diploma. You got to have a U.S. Uh, residency and the ability to work in the United States. You got to have an independent adjusting license. A pre-license, you got to be able to pass a pre-licensing course and a background check, get your fingerprints done, right? And then sometimes you get a driver's license, something like that. Nowhere on there in that in that what qualifies you being an adjuster is experience, unless you live in the state of California, by the way. My California people, y'all got a whole other set of laws. Y'all got to have like 4,000 hours of experience, but that's neither here nor there for this conversation. But what I find is, is that instead of people actively going after, going hard after their license, I mean, I'm sorry, after their first job, they'll get all the licenses, get the certifications, and then they'll make up the idea that they have to have experience. And so this puts you behind the eight ball. Because look, y'all, if you have never handled, handled claims before, if you've never done a deployment before, I want you to understand something. There is a new adjuster on every single deployment I've ever been on. I've been on over 20 deployments and there's always been a new adjuster there. And we've always helped that adjuster get acclimated to the claims environment and handle their claims in a, in a great way if they were open to it. Okay. 
You do not have to have experience to be an independent adjuster. All right. So do not let this slow you down. All right. This is my boy Rashad. I thank Steven Story a lot for this. If it wasn't for him, I would have never heard about this great career path. Me and him got into business. This is he's, he's a peer of mine. He's not my student, but we got into business. When I got my license, I told him about a business. Set. I said, Shy, man, you got to get in the business with me. Man. Let's do this. You know, we'll make all this money. And we went on and did it. We did it together. And it was a, we had a good run with this one. Uh, before going to his next secret, before I go to his next secret, I want to just check something. All right. Uh, several new adjusters. Uh, when I hear the plan, I think of military. Yeah, I know. I know. It's just it's industry lingo. OK, it's just industry lingo, man. We, we just that's what it's called. Uh, pre remote work the deployment meant you got deployed. I mean, you left your house, you left your city, you left your state and you went somewhere else. So you were actively deployed somewhere. All right. But don't don't get in your head too much about the whole military thing. That's just that's just industry lingo. OK, we call the what we call deployment is just essentially a contract or a job. All right. So. Uh, uh, you might have a remote deployment. Remote deployment just means you're working from home. Uh, desk deployment it means you're working in an office. Field deployment means you're just working outside uh, inspecting property. Okay, let's get back into this thing. Questions, comments, concerns about anything, y'all. Questions, comments, concerns on TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Y'all got any questions, comments, concerns? Matter of fact, let me go check out Facebook because my Facebook people ain't popping up. I want to make sure that we are serving them as well. So let's just hop in and, and, and see if they are in there real quick. Let's just have a look. Boom. All right, there we go. All right, cool. All right, they are, my Facebook people are doing good. Okay, if y'all getting something from this. Uh, oh, Jeffrey, my first two deployments are more than 40% new adjusters. See, exactly. You don't gotta have experience again in this business. All right. So go back into it. Appreciate all y'all hopping in here, hanging out with your boy. Thank y'all so much. Um, now, secret number three, present, boom. So uh, new independent adjusters get hired with the right certifications and licenses, all right? You, if you don't have the right licenses, y'all, and by right licenses, I mean more than one, okay? If you have one license, no certifications, y'all, don't think you're going, be, you're going to be getting hired quickly. It's going to be a long, slow, drawn-out process for you, uh, more than likely, if you don't have your certifications and if you don't have your licenses. Like I told you all earlier in this presentation, you want to have at least five licenses. And also, on the certification side, you want to have at least two certifications. That secret alone can set you up to win in 2024, okay? Just, if you just got one license, do not expect to be handling claims quickly. You need to get more than one. Five would be great to start with. I wouldn't go over five for right now, but that would be good to start with. All right. Now, modeling success. Learn to model the successful people in front of y'all. This is why I'm sharing y'all with these, te these testimonies with y'all. These are people who went and did, uh, they went and emulated others. Okay, they emulate, they, they follow that system to get them where they need to go. This is going to shorten their time. By modeling the success of other people, we shorten our struggle. We, sh we shorten our suffering. We shorten uh, the amount of time it takes for us to go from where we are and where we want to be at. Okay. Here's another one. This is a great testimony. I like this one a lot. Stephen, where do I even begin? I got my license and I've only, I've only been deployed for a little over a month now. But let me tell you, I went from doing Instacart and just trying, not making, but trying to get to $500 a week. Who's been there before? Who's been at trying to make $500 a week? Now I make $34 an hour, 60 hours a week, and sometimes a little more. I'm bringing in $3,700 plus every two weeks. Okay? Who, who? I know this would work for somebody. $3,700 every two weeks is good for somebody. I don't know about y'all. Maybe not for somebody. Some of y'all are rich already. Well, for some of y'all, $3,700 every two weeks would go great in this economy. I've been able to really tackle my debt to where I feel human again. Not only is it just about the money, but I'm proud that after dropping out a few times, 
I finally found a career I can thrive in. I really enjoy the work I do, and I'm only turning 23, so I can really see myself doing this for a long time. Plus, my mom is proud, and that means a lot to me again. So, again, thanks so much. Y'all, are y'all learning from this? Is this exciting to y'all? Are y'all seeing, are y'all seeing a pattern? Are y'all seeing a pattern of people who are emulating success and it, it and it, it turns into financial success for them? Okay. It, it turns into financial increase for them by just emulating what already works. All right. If you learn from something, if you learn something from this, raise your hand, say yes. All right, nod your head. You don't want to click on the computer. Nod your head along if you learn something from this. All right, I get pumped up. I'm pumped up right now just, just reading these testimonies. I've read these testimonies a million times. I talk to these people, but to see it, and the reason I get so pumped up <coughs> is not for them. I get pumped up for y'all, okay? The people on TikTok, the people on YouTube, the people on Facebook and Twitter and, and Facebook and, and my email groups and all that. I'm excited for y'all because all those people were once one of y'all. All of those people were watching these videos one day or watching these webinars one day and then they decided to take some action. All right. If y'all learn from this, nod your head along, say yes, put a little hand raise in, 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 in the comment section. Okay. I appreciate everybody hopping on here. Let's get to it. Now, if there was a way for us to continue this conversation, would y'all be open to learning more about the package I'm offering tonight? Because because right now I'm only I've only shared a little bit of information, but I have a lot more to share with y'all. And I want to do that with y'all tonight, but I want to make sure I get permission first. All right. So before I before I keep going, let me stop this. I want to make sure that one, y'all learn something from this and two, y'all are interested in hearing more about this package. OK, so if y'all y'all interested in it, let me just get it. Say yes. Say yes, Steve. Hey, Steve, we want to know more about it. Let me know. Desmond, I'm going to get to you in a second. Okay? I'm going to get to you in a second, Desmond, on what search you should get. Okay? If you are learning something from this and you want to learn more about how we can keep talking about this, let me know. All right? I will happily wait. I will happily wait, everybody, uh, until y'all hop in here. And let me know, okay. If y'all want me to talk more about what I'm, what I have to offer, please just let me know. Please say yes. Put a thumbs up, and we can get going. All right. We are almost an hour into this. Probably got about another thirty minutes. About thirty minutes to go. We're gonna do a long Q and A session after this, by the way, as well. Missy's ready. All right, cool. Missy's ready. That's all I need to know. Boom. Let's go. Boom. All right. So. Now, now we're going to go ahead and get into the package. Adjust your mentorship program. All right. This is for any of y'all. This is for any of y'all who have gotten my roadmap course. This is for anybody, any of y'all who have, you might have just got my FAQ guide. You might not have got anything I have. And you're like, you know what, Steve, I need help. I'm, I, I need help. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm tired of slowing around. I want to speed up. I want to be like some of your other students that made $280,000 in a year. They make, you know, $3,700 every two weeks, $4,600 every two weeks. You know, I want to be more like those people. What do I need to do? Now, I'm going to go over what's inside of this, right? Matt, he's one of my, he's one of my, one of my, my first, uh, he's one of my first mentees. Uh, he was sharing some different uh, deployments that we have inside our group. Right. Uh, we got Mr. Devine, who went and got the course, got in the group, got his first deployment. Now, y'all, what I want to tell you about is this adjustment mentorship program. You're going to get every course I've ever made and every course I ever will make. All right. So I have uh, on this slide, I'm, I'm, we're looking at about eight courses. Plus, I have another 10 bonuses. I got another 10 bonus courses. All right, so I got Roadmap to Become an Independent Adjuster. This course alone has helped thousands of people. Essentials of Claim, Essentials of claim Handling is a course set up around the role playing, all right? So, y'all, we talk about getting hired. We also got to know how to do our job, all right? How do we do our job? Essentials of Claim Handling talks about how we can handle our day to day, how we handle our desk, how we talk to insurers, how we write file notes. 
okay? How we review policy. File note bootcamp is a six hour course on file notes alone. I can't tell y'all how many people have gotten fired because they don't write file notes properly. This works for field adjusters, remote adjusters, and desk adjusters, okay? If we cannot properly document files, y'all, you will be on the chopping block as an independent adjuster. Understanding insurance policy is another course of mine, one of my favorite courses. It ain't sexy, but it helps us be able to read an insurance policy for understanding and read an insurance policy to explain it to an insured. If we can't do this properly, y'all, you're going to get a lot of escalations. All right, I've got Adjuster Blueprint. It's one, it's one of my courses I, I, I taught in studio. Season of Independent Adjusting is one of my bonuses. All right. How to get hired during the slow season. I created this one last fall for, for y'all during slow seasons. Y'all, every season, not a, not a busy cat season with, call you know, carriers calling you all the time. All right. You're also going to get the IA firms list. IA firms list has over 130 IA firms uh, attached to it. The more IA firms uh, rosters you're on, the more opportunities you have to have success as an adjuster. All right? Plus a whole lot more. We're going to get into all that, but let's just keep going. Next, you're going to get private one-on-one -on -one calls, y'all. So listen, for all of my adjusters that I have mentored over the last three years, each one of them has my phone number. Each one of them texts and calls me with all kinds of questions. And they don't just do it for that 12 week period. They have me for life. Okay. So I have people that are a year, two years, three years into the business <coughs> that I still, they still reach out to me with questions about deployments. They still reach out to me about questions about claims, right? I'm there al walking alongside them as they're handling, uh, as they're going through each deployment. All right. Now, from there, we got 12 weekly mentorship group calls. These group calls, are all classes. These are not just Q and A. These are each one is a class. All right. My goal is to make competent, confident insurance adjusters. The more competent you are, the more productive you're going to be. The faster you're going to handle your, handle your claims. The more confident you're going to be, the more confident you are in your skill set. Again, the faster you're going to handle claims. The less you got to uh, deal with your manager. You know, bugging them about different stuff and, you know, consulting all these different adjusters on your, on your deployments. And you can make decisions on your own, guys. That's why that's what they call independent adjusters. We got to we got to adjust independently. We can't adjust having to call our, 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 our firm management every five minutes and call, you know, calling up our, our buddy every five minutes. Hey, man, what do you think about the claim? I don't know. What should I do? Right. And then my next focus is on getting each mentee hired before the 12 week mentorship ends, right? I wanna get everybody that comes into our mentorship hired in that three month period, why? Because I wanna see you become a successful adjuster. I wanna be able to help you with your claims. And I don't want, cause see, I've, I've been there where I felt like I was, I, had, like, I was like a deer in headlights. You know, you get hired and you're like, oh man, what do I do next? And you, your heart starts beating fast every day you go to work because you don't know what to do. Right. I want to take a lot of that stress off of you by allowing you to have some help. And that help is going to come through the form of private one on one calls, keeping you accountable for helping you uh, for I'm going to help you stay accountable to your hiring process. So, you know, getting on more firm rosters, following up with firms, getting your certifications, everything you need to get hired and then to go in and start dominating these 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 firms. Uh, carriers, uh, they, they, I'm sorry, start dominating these claims that you got to handle, right? Again, if we learn this thing the right way, imagine if you learn your file notes the right way. You learn how to get hired the right way. You learn how to uh, talk to the insurers the right way. You learn building materials correctly. You, you learn how to handle auto total loss correctly. These are all things we're doing in these group calls. We give you a strong base to launch off of, that's how you get to $280,000 in your first year, like Jacob. That's how you get to $3,700 in your first two weeks, you know, one, two deployments in, $350 a day, one or two deployments in, because you had a strong foundation, all right? You're gonna get all the years of experience I have inside this mentorship, so then you can launch yourself off of that, okay? I just finished watching Steven's course on independent adjusting. I must say it's very, very thorough 
Can't say that enough from start to finish. You will not find another course with this much information anywhere. They said nowhere, anywhere. All right, we got another one. We got $32 an hour entry that most I've ever made in my life. You changed my life for the better. Thank you, my dude. Y'all, it's right there waiting on you, okay? Why do this your way? Why do this your way? Why try to get, why try to make things up on your own when you can do it a proven way first? Skip all that. Skip all the hard part. And we just go right into the good part of this, which is earn a higher income. I made my yearly income from 2018 working one deployment in just five months. Come on, somebody. Come on. That don't excite, that don't excite you. I don't know what you want. You might not be alive. This don't excite you because of independent justice. I just picked up another contract. Shout out to Steven Story. He asked me what I was waiting for, and I dived in. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for, all right? Total value for all this is $2,997, but I don't want to charge you $29.97 tonight. I don't want to charge you $19.97 tonight, y'all. I want, But I do want to ask you this question, okay? If all this course did was shorten the time for you to be hired, would it be worth $19.97, okay? If you're waiting a year, if you were like missing, you had to wait a year, would it be worth it to pay $19.97 to start making $350 a day? To start making $4,600 every week or $3,700 every two weeks like we see on these testimonials. Would it be worth changing your financial life for $19.97? I think it would. You know, I think for a lot of y'all, it's not that, you know, you're watching at home, not alone. I think it would. Here's my next question. If all this program did was teach you how to make $8,000 a month in 2024, would it be worth $19.97? Let's look at those numbers. What? 10 times 8 is what? 80,000? 11 times 8, 88,000? All right. Look at 96 grand. If we only did 96 grand because of this in 2024, would it be worth 1997? I think it would. You know, and again, I, I bet some of y'all are probably nodding your heads uh, alone, right? Now, here's the good news. The, this program isn't $29.97, it's not $19.97, and it's not $14.97, all right? Here's Tracy, it's no one. Tracy's such a sweet lady. Uh, Tracy, she, she said, hey, I was able to leave my state job making $20 an hour uh, to more than double that. I love the support I have inside the group. Uh, I definitely would recommend anyone who wants to get started in a recession and pandemic-proof industry. Tracy <coughs> was one of those ones I had to encourage a lot. But she went on and knocked it out. You're going to get all this, guys, ladies and gentlemen, for $1,000. But I got something else for you, all right? Because this whole $1,000 thing, I want you to forget about that, too. I just want to thank you for introducing me to adjusting. I bought your course quality. I got licensed. And now I'm doing rope and harness with Everest. I'm making $4,600 a week. Come on, y'all. $4,600 a week. This is amazing. I used to make less than that in a month. Glad I took the leap. I made all my money back in the first week. Is that not amazing? Now you have two options. Option one, you do it your way and burn up a lot of time, energy, and most of all money trying to do it your way. Or option two, you invest in yourself tonight and start going towards your goals much faster. Now these are two simple options now, y'all. Keep doing what you're doing. All right? Maybe you got it. Maybe you know what you're doing. All right? You can keep doing that. But if you don't know what you're doing, y'all, there is a way out. Okay? There is a way to increase skill increase uh confidence and competence that we can get started on tonight okay now this where this where i told you about this whole forget about the thousand dollars thing okay now i know how this economy is i know that we have a lot of people that want to get into business and you're like yo steve a thousand dollars that ain't gonna work that ain't gonna work for me right now two to five hundred dollars ain't work for me right now i can't do that so i partnered with Klarna. for those of y'all who don't know what Klarna is I'm going to explain what Klarna is. And so it's going to lower your financial risk. It's going to make this a no-brainer for y'all, okay? I'm, I'm focused on helping y'all get in this business by any means necessary, right? So let's go into Klarna and how it works. So I partner with Klarna. And so what we're going to do, y'all, when we go to pay tonight, we're going to choose Klarna at checkout. So you're going to see credit card. You're going to, say, you're going to see pay with Klarna. You see that? Pay with Klarna. You see this pink logo with the black corner in there. Click on that pink badge, and then from there, you're going to click on the payment options. 
They got three different payment. Well, they got four payment options. One is paying out, which is normal. You pay a thousand dollars up front, bam, you end up you're in a mentorship program. Or you can pay in four interest-free payments. There are bi-weekly payments, and I'm gonna get into all that here in a second. There are bi-weekly payments, and you're gonna pay that thousand dollars out over two months. Okay. With a 25%, you pay 25% a night, 250 bucks, and you split the rest over four payments over eight months. I mean, I'm sorry, eight weeks, my bad. And the next one is pay in 30 days. Again, you're not going to pay anything down tonight. That's zero tonight. Zero down tonight. And then in 30 days after, hey, you've done, in 30 days, we will have done four classes. You will have had access to all of my courses by then. And then you can pay in 30 days. Let's say, you know, taxes on, you're getting done, something like that. You can get it handled in. Or <clears throat> even better, you can pay over time. They have six-month payment arrangements up to 24-month payment arrangements. Now, there will be some interest along with that, but that is a much better situation for y'all. A lot of y'all are going to get hired in the next 90 days. They get started today. So you'll be hired before you even finish paying this off. So you can pay this off with your with your first payment uh, with, with your first IF, uh, pay paycheck. All right. That you get after you become get into this mentorship program. This also comes with an app. You can manage everything in one place. Right. So. Again, zero financial risk to you. Now we're going to talk about it again. We're going to keep going. You make one interest free payment today, and then every two weeks, when you choose Corona at checkout at partner stores plus your manager stores, so we already talked about that. We split the cost. All right, this is what we're talking about paying for, paying 30 days. All right, then if you choose to pay in 30 days, you get access to everything right now. You get access to everything right now, y'all. I hope this, that this is. I wish that we had access to these things, you know, when I got into the business. Zero financial risk. You're going to get into the mentorship program. You're going to pay anything now. And in 30 days, you start taking care of it. Okay. Now, if you need even, if you need even more time, like we talked about, we got paying for paying 30 days. And we also have pay across six to 24 months with interest rates ranging from 7.9 to 33.9%. All right. Now, I want everybody to know this as well. This is not going to impact your credit. They'll, they may perform a, a soft credit check, but even then it won't impact your credit score and it will not show up as a hard inquiry on your credit report. All right. So this puts y'all at zero risk. Okay. Zero risk for all this. Here's another testimonial. Hey, good afternoon, guys. I want to share my heartfelt testimony about the incredible impact Stevens had on my life <laughs> in the last several years. Over the past few years, I had been dealing with several personal matters that left me in a state of financial despair. I was drowned in the debt and my circumstances led me to take on jobs that not only did I not have passion, but didn't want to work as well in both sales and security, um, desperately searching for a way out of what I was going through. Um, it was on November 20th, 2020 in Salvador Bahia, I was traveling to Brazil that I first crossed paths with Stephen. Uh, what struck me about the brother immediately was his genuine nature and his unwavering dedication to finding solutions to help people not only become self-sufficient, but also successful. Uh, we instantly formed a friendship. And even when I returned stateside, we kept in touch. Um, my primary goal was to become debt free and secure a well paying career that would allow me to work remotely and travel. Um, Stephen played a pivotal role in helping me achieve these aspirations through his paid programs, his insight, and of course, his unwavering support and experience through the IA field. So with his guidance, I secured my first deployment in September of 2022, which lasted over three months, but shortly thereafter. I embarked on another deployment a month later, which I worked diligently until it was time for me to take a break. I'm proud to say for the experience and everything else that I had, I'm willing to come back at any time with open arms from that um, IA firm. Um, what's truly remarkable about this whole experience is that despite being a new adjuster, others often couldn't tell that I was my first year in the field. 
Um, this success was directed as a result of my commitment to following Stephen's guidelines meticulously to the team. Um, working as an independent adjuster is undeniably demanding, time consuming, and it requires incredible attention to detail. However, with the right focus, organizational skills, and approach, it becomes manageable, and success in this field is very attainable. These past three years of studying and breaking into the IA firm industry has been transformative to me, and I owe a significant portion of my success to Stephen. His mentorship and guidance have changed my life for the better. I am internally grateful. I sincerely hope that you too find similar, if not even more abundant success with Stephen's invaluable support and expertise in this field. Thank you. That's my boy DJ. That's my boy DJ right there. I really appreciated him sharing this with y'all. And we um, actually talked to him today, as a matter of fact. Um, we got some more, some more testimonials. I got a lot of testimonials, by the way. I got a lot, lot. Like I have so many testimonials from people that have done well over the years, and I just get. I'm I'm so excited to see guys like uh, Trayvon here, uh, women like Tracy, uh, women like Adrian, who's done extremely well for herself. She's in here somewhere in one of these testimonials. We got DJ that's talked about that. You know his his journey from being a security guard, you know, in his 40s. Uh, to now being a six-figure earner as an independent adjuster, y'all, like, we are putting ourselves in position to change our lives with this information, right? So here we got Trevon. It's been a dream. I got a deployment paying me around $8,000 a month, and I've been working it since August. I would strongly recommend to anyone looking to get into the field of insurance adjusting is small, and not a lot of people know about it. Steve makes everything clear and easy to understand. Trevon is still working now. It's been three years now for him. He's, he has a young family, and he's still doing very well for himself. Here we got Adrian. Adrian is a big baller, okay? She's one of my first students, and I was so excited. I'm so happy to see her every day. Uh, she said we're going to be making $12,000 a week on, uh, with components. Just waiting for her to confirm with us. Uh, Adrian, y'all, y'all see her on Twitter. She's made a lot of money in this business. She's very focused, and like I told, told y'all, she was one of my, one of my first students uh, that did well, right? So, uh, y'all... I've told y'all about Klarna. You know what, matter of fact, let's go back through it. Let's go back through it because I want to make sure y'all know what you're getting, okay? Let's go back through and know what you're getting, all right? You're going to get access to every course I got, all right? I didn't write down all the courses you know, over here, but you're going to get how to get hired during the low season, 15 questions to ask IA firms. Y'all, 15 questions to ask IA firms alone is worth, uh, is worth it because most people only ask one question. Hey, are y'all hiring? And that's it. That's the only thing they ask my IA firms. We're going to learn 15 questions, 15 different data points that we can ask IA firms so we can determine if we want to work with them or not, right? We got understanding property adjusting, all right? That's different from understanding insurance policy. Understanding property adjusting, that's going to be working with hell. That's going to be working with fire, wildfires. It's going to be working with cat and daily claims. We need to know uh, property adjusting. I have a course on understanding property adjusting 101. The anatomy of an insurance uh, carrier. That's another bonus right there. If we understand more than just desk adjusting and we know what happens before we get the claim, what happens after we get the claim, what happens when it goes to SIU, so on and so forth, that's inside that anatomy of an insurance carrier. That's what you're getting with this mentorship program. Also, mindset of an independent adjuster. We go into how y'all, we got to think as independent adjusters, okay? Avoiding deployment pitfalls. Y'all, again, it's another bonus that's worth its weight in gold, Okay. This is included in the mentorship program. I didn't put it on the slide just because there's too many to put on there. But uh, avoiding deployment of pitfalls. Guys, I've seen guys get fired for wearing flip-flops to work, okay? I've seen people get fired for pulling their cell phones out too much. These are just simple things, but if you don't know it, you can lose your job just like that. All right, what else we got? We got adjuster blueprint, how to be a high-performing IA. We got things like the IA firms list that we already talked about. We got cat fee schedule. For my, for, my remote for my field adjusters, you need to know what a fee schedule is. You need to know what it looks like so you can be able to know what to compare it against. The essential claim handling we talked about, again, that's going to be a role-playing. Uh, so we have a lot of role-playing in there, as does the file note boot camp. File note boot camp is six hours long. It was a three-day uh, three boot camp that, we, that we've hosted. And we go in depth. We go in depth on how to write file notes properly. Oh, this is a super important skill. 
that most new adjusters do not have. If you listen to, to DJ, what he said was they didn't know I was new. One of the reasons they didn't know he was new because he was strong. He had a strong uh, background and a strong foundation in file notes. Okay. What else we got in there? Then we go into season of independent, just like we talked about. Guys, y'all know when y'all y'all know when y'all getting hired. If y'all know when to get hired, it makes everything much harder. Okay. Now, where are we getting this at? Where do we get? Where do I go to Clarn at? So if you're watching this on YouTube, if you go to the description, if y'all go to the description, matter of fact, let's go in here. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the description. Boom. We're gonna go into YouTube. We gotta to go to the description. Uh this video will stay up on YouTube, by the way. Let me go in here. Let's pull up. Uh, let me stop my screen for a second. Stop my screen for a second, y'all. My bad. We're going to go here into YouTube. Boom. And I'm going to show y'all. If you go to the description, if you scroll down, if you scroll down on YouTube, you will see, you will see a, um, a link to purchase. Okay, let me just put a pause on my own. We'll see. Oops, I want that to echo. My bad. All right, if y'all scroll down to the very end, all right, let me share it now. If y'all scroll down to the very end of the description, it's going to show a, a screen. There we go. Boom. Just so y'all see right there. This is where you're going to click at. Okay. Right where, where my, my mouse is, buy Stripe, you're going to click there. You're going to click on Klarna. That's where you're going to go to purchase this mentorship. From there, y'all, again, so you have zero financial risk, you're going to go and click on that Klarna. You're going to click on Klarna. Okay? I'm going to show you this right here, too. Boom. Y'all see that? There we are. Oops, went out. Yeah, there we go. It's going to click on Klarna right there. Four interest free payments. You can do learn more. You'll go through there and then you press pay. Okay. So you can do that through corner. It's super simple. All you gotta do is go down. If you're watching this live, scroll down on YouTube, click that buy stripe, and then go, go to corner from there. All right. If you are ready, if you are ready, that's where I would that's where I would start at. Okay. But now we're gonna go back into it. We're gonna keep presenting. Okay. Keep presenting because I want to make sure everybody gets as much out of this as possible. Okay, so we talked about zero financial risk. We've seen DJ's testimony, we've seen Adrian's testimonial. Now let's get into some Q and A. All right, so now it's Q and A time. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all time to what's the word I'm looking for? I'm gonna give y'all some time to ask y'all's questions, get y'all's comments out of the way, and uh, also for everybody who is. For everybody who is watching, you're ready to get started, you're ready to get a mentorship program, go to the description, click that buy strike, buy dot strike, click on corner, and let's and let's go ahead and get started. All right. Uh, once you once you get inside that, once you purchase the mentorship group, Renee, what's going on? Once you purchase the mentorship group, you're gonna get an email immediately. Okay, you're gonna get an email immediately. So give you access to all of the courses. From there, you're also gonna get my phone number. I'll be shooting you a text tonight, okay? You're gonna get a text from me tonight, and uh, and then from there, we'll hop on a call. We'll go over all your goals as an independent adjuster for 2024. And then we got class on Wednesday. All right, we're going right into mentorship. We got class, we got a group call on Wednesday, and then we're gonna start learning, all right? Now, with that being said, guys, Questions, comments, concerns. Questions, comments, concerns on TikTok, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter. Questions, comments, concerns about anything we talked about tonight. Okay. I want to remind everybody, we're looking at a thousand dollar investment that you don't have to spend all of your money on right now. You don't have to spend a thousand dollars today. You can use Klarna and lower your financial risk, your financial burden. Okay. It's not anything you have to do right now. You have to pull that money up right now. Put up a little bit, get in, start getting the value from it. We go and get higher and let insurance adjusting pay for the rest of this. Okay? Because we got a lot to teach, a lot to learn. 
Like I said, guys, we got iFirms. We got Roadmap to Become an Independent Adjuster. We got File Note Bootcamp, which I think is an amazing course. We got Essential Claim Handling, Adjuster Blueprint, How to Be a High-Performing high IA, and also, and also uh, Brian. So what if I have half the courses in the bundle and I just want to buy, buy the pieces I'm missing? Um, Brian, shoot me a message. Shoot me a message. Now, what I would say, Brian, this is this is more about the mentorship, right? So even with all the courses, the courses don't get you me and you know my phone number and the private group calls for 12 weeks. It doesn't get all that. So um yes, I have courses, but even with that, it's all involved with the mentorship program. But if you if you, if you got a couple of courses you want to get out of that. Shoot me a message. You got my email. I'm sure you got my DM on one of these platforms, and we can work something out, okay? But for those y'all, those y'all who are ready for mentorship, all right, you're ready to work for the next 12 months. I'm sorry, the next 12 weeks. If you're ready to work for the next 12 weeks on one, getting higher, two, building out more competency through increasing capabilities as an insurance adjuster, now's the time to get started, guys. Okay. Now's the time to get started. We're looking at it's February 1st. Hell season is going to be here shortly. Shiny Bunny, what's going on? Hell season is going to be here shortly. All right. So now is the time, y'all. Klarna. Klarna is there for you. Zero financial risk. Guys, we don't, we don't look. Pay as you go. You know, you, you can you can set it up to pay when you want to pay. You can set it up to do four payments. You can set it up to pay in 30 days. You got a lot of different options there. All right. So uh, we can take advantage of that, y'all. Also, anybody that has questions about anything, we talked about how many licenses you got to have. Got to have five licenses, two certifications. Five licenses, two certifications will take you a long way in this business. Okay? Um, what, uh, on TikTok, they asked me, what season is next? The next season is hell season. And we got hell season coming up. Also, just so y'all know, we got 20 minutes left on this call, all right? This mentorship program is normally $2,000, okay? It has been $2,000 for like the last year. Um, I'm, uh, it's gonna be $1,000 on this webinar for, until my timer goes off. Those of y'all don't know how long my timer is, let's see how much, how much time I got on my timer. Oops, I ain't, I ain't pressed play on it yet. Well, we got about what, 20, 24 minutes, 24 minutes on that. But whatever questions y'all got, feel free to ask away. Uh, I love talking about these things. I love uh, talking about insurance adjusting in general, right? So uh, I want to make sure that I, I give the floor for everybody to be able to talk and ask questions. I know y'all sat and watched me talk for a while. You got to see a lot of great testimonies. You got to get a lot of good information out here tonight. But let me keep bringing it up, y'all. We're in a situation where you don't got to put a bunch of money up. We don't have to... Uh, risk a lot right now and you can start learning ASAP. We can all start learning tonight. All right, we go through Klarna, we finance this, we get it done, we can get information tonight. I can be on the phone with you tomorrow morning, okay? We can be here tomorrow morning working towards handling, uh, you know, handling your career, making your career better, allowing you to be the next set of testimonials. All right. I know somebody wants to be in the next group of testimonials. All right. Somebody want to be that next. Hey, man, I'm making forty six hundred dollars a week. Hey, Steve, you changed my financial life. Hey, I'm making this. Hey, my mom's proud of me. I know one of y'all is ready for that or some of y'all are ready for that. Right. So um, now it's time to get started. Click go on to YouTube. For those of y'all watching, go on to the YouTube link. Click that. Scroll down. Click buy dot stripe. Click on that pink Klarna logo. And go through the, the payment plans they have for you. It's gonna be. It's not gonna be a, a credit check on there at all. All right. Remember. Remember what you're getting, guys. You're getting. You're getting like 12 courses. Okay. I got like 12 courses involved in, in, in this uh, roadmap. Become not roadmap. I got like 12 courses I created about independent adjusting, plus all the bonus courses and mini courses. Right. I'm also gonna be looking up your resume. I usually update y'all's resume myself. Okay. Give y'all y'all's own template to make y'all's resume stand out in this business, right? Y'all also gonna get it, gonna get that as well, uh, all for that that thousand dollars. Looking at looking at all these courses, plus twelve weeks of twelve weeks of, of teaching, 
plus private plus a private uh one-on-one -on -one calls all for a thousand dollars that's a steal and you don't gotta pay for it all up front it's amazing all right questions comments and concerns i got my folks on tiktok i got my folks on twitter now don't be shy now don't be shy now we can keep asking questions all right let's get some more um steven what's the difference between field adjusting and insurance adjusting all right uh so what i would say also let me switch out my what i would say the difference between field adjusting and insurance adjusting i think that's not the right question the right question is, it was the difference between field adjusting and desk adjusting. So field adjusting is physically going to a property to assess damage, take photos, and provide an estimate. It is a type of insurance adjusting, as is desk adjusting. Okay. Uh, next one. Is insurance adjusting a legitimate job? Yes. It's been around for over 90 years. We're almost going into a century of this. Okay. You might not have heard it before, but that's because this business is a relationship-based business. So it's so hard for people to, to hear about it. And once they hear about it, it's hard for them to get more information about it. And that's why sometimes people don't think it's legitimate, right? Uh, what is the pay like? Now we've talked about this pay already in his testimonials. Um, starting out students typically make anywhere from $24 to $36 an hour. With some exceptions, y'all have seen, y'all have seen some exceptions on this, this call tonight, right? On this webinar tonight, right? So. Y'all see some people make some some amazing some amazing incomes starting out. Uh, are all state and state farm the companies who get the influx of claims? This is one thing that I want everybody to understand. There are fifty two hundred. There are over fifty two hundred insurance carriers in the United States. All state and state farm are not the only two carriers that handle claims in the United States, and they're the only two claim. They're not the only two carriers that higher independent adjusters either okay dozens of insurance companies use independent adjusters to handle claims for for them when their staff adjusters are overwhelmed we get called up as independent adjusters when staff adjusters get overwhelmed staff adjusters get overwhelmed all the time for a number of reasons sometimes they're running low on staff for whatever reason sometimes it's a cat you know a hurricane hell season uh it might have an influx of claims for you know there's a lot of car accidents a lot of different reasons but all state and state farm aren't the only show in town can this be done remotely? Yes, this can be done remotely, but I want everybody to understand in this, this with the remote, remote deployments, remote deployments are becoming less and less the further we get away from the pandemic. Okay. During the pandemic, this was all remote all the time, but now it's not so much. Okay. So, Genius, I just passed my, my forward exam yesterday. What certs and licenses would you recommend or next steps? So, Genius, I don't know when you joined in. We just talked about all of that uh, over the last hour and a half. I do recommend you getting five licenses. I do recommend you getting two certifications. You might need to watch this uh, webinar over again if you just join it, okay? I don't mean to – I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that. We just talked for, like, 97 minutes uh, about all this, and we went over all that. So, um, you might want to watch this again so you can have a look at that. Um, next question. Can this be done as a side hustle? Y'all, if I get this question again, I'm a screen. Okay. No, it can't be done as a side hustle. Y'all you're going to be working 50 to 70 hours a week. Okay. Simple as that. If this is your side hustle at 50 to 70 hours a week, this ain't going to work. Okay. You're going to have to, once you get into our business, insurance adjusting as an independent adjuster and start working, this is going to be your career. OK, uh, you won't be able to do anything else on the side. Now, this won't be able to, this won't be able to be on the side. Now, I know you all saw a bunch of men on here. You've seen women, you've seen younger people. I want you all to know that this business is not just for single people. All right. There are people who have children. They're married with families and all that. They have spouses, all that, so on and so forth, they're older, younger. And they're doing this business. OK, so don't think that you, have, you just have to be a single person to excel in this business. We got all people from all walks of life to get in this business and do well for themselves. Okay. Is travel required? No, it is not required for fully remote positions. However, some deployments and all field deployments will require you to report to a location to begin working. Okay. No problem, genius. 
No problem at all. They will require you to report to a location to begin working. All right. All right. So Sedgwick. All right. So Bill, you asked a good question. Remote firms like Sedgwick. Listen, Sedgwick is not the only firm that that deploys people remotely. There are there's over a hundred I firms in the United States, and many of them have remote or have had remote positions. There aren't firms that are specific to remote deployments. Okay, Sedgwick is not a remote firm, by the way. All right. Uh, does sales play a role in this field? No, you weren't paying attention. If you think that sales plays a role in independent adjusting, you were not paying attention. Okay. This business of independent adjusting has nothing to do with sales. All right. Questions, questions. Now, again, y'all, like I said earlier, here we are with Klarna. Klarna has put us in a situation where y'all can begin learning from me, learning the best that I got, all right? Wherever y'all seen, if y'all seen me on a live before, you, you know, you might have seen a post or my emails, that is 1% of, of my teaching, all right? We can, with this Klarna situation, we can go in and get financing. We don't have to put all of it, all of it up right now. Like Desmond said, this is a steal, which it is, this is a steal. All right, because I partner up with, with Klarna, y'all don't have to put up a thousand dollars a night. All right, you put up a little bit, or you might not have to put up anything based on you know how how what, what Klarna makes a decision on for you, and you can get in and start getting this information now. All right, all you gotta do, guys, go to the YouTube, go down on this YouTube description, scroll down, click buy dot stripe, click on that pink link, that pink uh, that pink like, I'm sorry, the pink logo, and start that process with Klarna. All right. Now, on TikTok, I'll put this on the link in my bio, all right? If you want to buy this, click the link in my bio. All you got to do, it'll, it'll say Adjust the Mentorship Program. Click on that. Do the same thing I'm telling everybody to do on YouTube. All you got to do is click that pink, that pink logo and begin that process with Klarna, all right? Now, will your money balance out in the field, expenses for travel and lodging? So, Ansley, they have a thing called per diem, okay? Per diem is one of those questions that we ask. And those 15 questions to these IA firms, if they offer it, but what they're going to be doing is they're going to be asking, uh, you're going to ask they got per diem if they have it, they're going to provide that for you. So your money will balance out. So they'll that, that, per, that per diem is going to help you with lodging, travel, gas, so on and so forth. Also on these, with these IA firms, specifically when we're doing field adjusting, uh, they will pay for mileage, uh, a certain amount per, per mile that you have to drive. And they'll take care of that for you as well. Okay. It's a good question, Ansley. But yes, it will balance out. It will balance out. Okay. Um, I, I, and back we're talking about y'all. Look, we're talking about $1,000. Three months of three months of mentorship, private one-on-one -on -one calls. You're going to get like 12 courses, a bunch of mini courses about independent adjustment. You're going to get everything you need, y'all. We, we, we just saw people talking about $4,600 uh, a week. $12,000 a week with component pay, $283,000 in a year. You know, lives completely changed by following a system, okay? Go, go down below or go to the link in bio, scroll down, get into the mentorship program now, y'all. All right, we're starting now. We're starting now, we got hell season coming up. Things are about to get busy. Things are about to get very busy once hell season hits. This is not going to be like last year because we don't have El Nino to deal with again. So all this slow stuff is ending. All right. So we got to be prepared, everybody. We got to be prepared. Also, just so you all know, again, so I can repeat myself. This is a thousand dollar offer for right now. After this webinar ends, the mentorship is two thousand dollars. All right. It's two thousand dollars. We got how many minutes got left on this? So I can tell you how many minutes. Before uh, before we end this, all right, we're looking at about seven minutes left. Okay, we're looking at about seven minutes left. So y'all can take advantage of this at half the price, and without having to pay it all up front. Go to link in bio. Go down to the description. And get it below. Questions, comments, concerns, everybody. Questions, comments, or concerns, y'all. I want to know. 
I'm here to help y'all. All right. I know y'all don't watch my videos because y'all think I look good. Y'all, y'all asking, y'all watching these videos because y'all want to learn something. So take that time now, take advantage now to go ahead and get all your questions answered about anything adjusting. Shout out everybody on TikTok. Thank y'all for watching. Shout out everybody on Twitter and YouTube and Facebook, my Facebook group. Uh, thank y'all for watching. We got a Facebook group with 14,000 people in it. Uh, I'm an admin on with, with all of them. Uh, we got a whole bunch of people on Twitter and TikTok and YouTube. So shout out everybody for hopping on here as long as y'all have. I thank all y'all, right? I want to get y'all a great deal. I understand that uh, everybody ain't got no thousand dollars laying around. I know that. And so that's why we, we set it up. That's why we set it up like this. You can get roadmap to become an independent adjuster. You get essential claim handling. You're getting, uh, what else you get? How to be a high performing IA. You get an adjuster blueprint. You get an IA firm's list, cap fee schedule, essential claim handling, file no boot camp. Understand the property adjusted one on one, anatomy of an insurance carrier, avoiding deployment pitfalls. All right. Understand the insurance policy. We're getting hours and hours. Y'all probably gonna get between everything I just said, it's probably 15 hours worth of material just on independent adjusting alone. Just on how you increase your income, just on how you set up your finances, right? For independent adjusting. How you set up your finances. How you go about the math around, I like to call it just the math. How you go around seeing if a deployment is going to be profitable for us before we go into deployment. All right. I got worksheets for that kind of stuff. All that's inside, y'all. All that's inside of mentorship group. Learning, building material, right? What is the difference between hail pop, a nail pop, and, and a hail hit? You know, things like that. Things like how do we go about interpreting policy, especially when it's a gray area? All that is inside, y'all. I'm ready and excited to work with all of you all in this mentorship group. I've done, at this point, I've done seven mentorship groups. So this will be number eight for me, okay? This is number eight uh, on the mentorships. So I'm excited to work with all of y'all. I've worked with a lot of people over the years. and I've had, I've had a lot of successes. And somebody watching this is going to be the next success, okay? So, again, click the link in the bio, scroll down. Click that buy that stripe and go through Klarna. Okay. Go through Klarna, y'all. Y'all had to worry about anything. Let's go back and look at that. Let's go back. Let's go back and look. Boom. More Klarna app. Let's make sure y'all can see Klarna. Mm -hmm. Let's take that down a second. Where is. Let me make sure y'all can see. Oops, out of that. Make sure y'all can see everything. All right, yeah, y'all can see. No, y'all can't see. Y'all can't see corner. Let's remove that. Let's put it back on there. Share screens. Let me know. Entire screen. There we go. Boom. All right, let's go back in here. We're just gonna just go back and look and see what um, what we get in the corner again. So again, like I said, zero financial risk to you. If you haven't had a look at this yet, you got zero financial risk, right? How does it work? We got, we can do pay all at once, which is just a normal way. It's not financed at all. We can do split in four payments. That's four bi-weekly payments, all right? You're going to pay 25% down today. That would be $250 a day that you pay down. And then you split the remaining $750 between four payments. Okay, Clarence is going to keep up with with all that on the app. You can see how much you owe in the app. And if you were, you were in a situation where, hey, Steve, you know, four payments is good, but what happens if I can't pay one payment? You can always renegotiate with Clarence so you can have more time to pay. Okay, they also have it where you can do it 30 days. Uh, you can get it now and then pay in 30 days. And they also have it where you can pay with more time. So you can pay up to six six months, up to 24 months for this, all right? So you can split those payments up into much lower payments, all right? Now, again, y'all, it's gonna be a soft credit check. This is not gonna affect your credit. It's not gonna be a hard pull in your credit, anything like that, all right? This will not show up on our credit report, anything like that. They're just checking to see if you can uh, afford this, 
and they'll, they'll, they'll give it, they'll, they'll allow you to take it, uh, you know, get the course now and then you just pay for it later. And that's where it says, that's where that zero financial risk to you is. Okay. Zero financial risk guys. Got a bunch of questions. Let's see what we got in here. All right. Again, y'all, you're going to find this. You're going to find the, the, the link to buy below this YouTube video. If you're watching this on uh, Twitter or you're watching on TikTok, click the link in my bio. It's very explanatory where you can go to, go and get that at. And then you just click the Klarna option. You don't click the pay with a credit card. You pick with Klarna unless you're ready to pay all at once. All right. Miyoshi, what's going on? Questions, comments, concerns, y'all. We got five more minutes. Now, also keep in mind, this course, this I'm sorry, this mentorship is $1,000 today, right now. Once I get off this call, it's going to be $2,000, all right? Y'all can take that to the bank. This ain't going to be $1,000 tomorrow. It's going to be $2,000 tomorrow, all right? So if you're watching this and you're ready, you're ready to be like this people you saw in the testimonial, you're, you, you believe that, hey, Steve, you know what? I'm ready to emulate what you got going on. I'm ready to follow what you got going on. Your, your guidelines, step by step. I'm ready to do it. If that's what you're ready to do, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started tonight. I'm trying to talk to some of y'all today before before y'all go to sleep tonight. You know, I want to talk to some of y'all when I wake up in the morning. When I wake up, bam, yo, Steve, hey, I appreciate the webinar. I'm ready to get started. Okay. Some of y'all are action takers. And why, why do I know that? Because there's always some action takers on every webinar. It's, it's always action takers that I see inside my mentorship group. Okay. Some of y'all are like, you know what? I'm tired of making $30,000 a year. I'm tired of making 40 grand, 50 grand a year. I'm tired of making, I'm tired of making 60 grand. I want to get into the six figures and this is how I'm going to do it. Okay. Makes sense to everybody. Did y'all get something out of this? Did y'all get something out of this? Did y'all learn something from this webinar tonight, these last uh, two hours? Did y'all learn something from this? I hope y'all did. I felt like y'all did. And, and uh, if y'all don't, I can just keep talking. <laughs> we got hell season coming up. Thank you, Shunny Bunny. This was helpful. I appreciate that. Shunny Bunny, come on. Come on, join this mentorship program. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing holding you back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, guy A. Um, Desmond, what are you talking about? Uh, you're going to give me a better question on that one. Uh, maybe you didn't, maybe you typed it out, but you didn't mean to send it so fast. Um, yeah, maybe you didn't mean to send it that fast. I want to make sure that you got in and um, got the right question. Yeah, you got a question. Yeah, go ahead and answer the ask the question away, man. Not go ahead. If you got a question, let's go ahead and get to it. If you're ready, link in bio, link in description, scroll down, click buy that strike, click Klarna, go through that process, and let's go ahead and get access to these courses tonight. Yes, we go ahead and ask your question. Go ahead and ask that question, man, so we can go ahead and get to it. Okay. All right. Uh, Desmond, I'm waiting on your question. Any more people on TikTok? I got questions. Please let me know. Please let me know. I'm always uh, trying to help y'all. All right. Usually my TikTok, my TikTok folks be pretty busy over there. Uh, it's not as many as y'all as normal. Uh, usually it's like it's packed, asking questions all day long. You know. Um, will your mentorship help me with getting uh, the file licenses quicker than normal? or assist in that, um, you getting your licenses is, depends entirely up to you, right? Um, I don't, I'm not a person who sells licenses. So um, the licensing part, that's a small step. It's a really small step uh, getting the five licenses, right? Um, yeah, I mean, you can have your five licenses tonight. Like getting five licenses, just purchasing them. Um, that's not that's one small part of all the things we need to do to get licensed as a, I mean, to get hired as an adjuster. And, it, you know, by getting five licenses, it does not increase our competency. Right. It just means you got five licenses. OK. 
All right, y'all, if y'all ready to get started, we're talking about $1,000 here. $1,000, you get all these courses, plus the mentorship, plus the private calls, plus I am actively helping you. I'm actively helping you get licensed. Not sorry, I get licensed, get hired. If this is, if I'm staff, will this help me translate? Hell yeah. It'll help you go, go to, to I, of course. Big time, Chris. Come on, Chris. We got a lot of work to do. Okay. Um, yeah, so you're already licensed. That's that's one part of it, but that's not the only thing. We got a lot. We have a lot of other things we got to do. We got a lot of moving parts in the hiring process. Chris, uh, mentorship program can help you out with that a lot. And just so y'all know, I, my mentorship program is not just for new adjusters. You know, I've had I've had mentees of mine that were managers in the business of independent adjusting. So don't think it's just for new adjusters. I have, uh, you know, I got eight years experience going on nine years now. Um, OK, so you got your search, you got your exam and all that. That's great, Chris. Yeah, man, it's going to get you higher. Just unsure the transition. I understand, Chris. I understand. OK. Mentorship, y'all. Bio for my TikTok people. Bio for my my Twitter people. For my people on YouTube, scroll down on this description of this video. Click Klarna, pink logo. Go through that process and let's get started. All right, y'all. Four four more minutes and we're out of here. Four more minutes and we're out of here. So whatever questions y'all got, let's get it. Let's get them out. Let's get them out. I like answering y'all's questions. Y'all can't just sit in here and stare at me now. We gotta be a gotta be a back and forth. Okay. Okay. I know somebody is ready to change their financial path in 2024. You know, you've been doing the same thing over and over again. You're getting the same results. When are you gonna do something different? Okay. When are when are we going to do something different to get something different? Right? All these people that we talked about, the DJs, the Jacobs, the Tracys, the, the Travons, the Janays, the Adrian's the, the the KBs and all all these men and women they all did something different to get something different. What's the best way to hurt over the hurdle of experience needed is patience and building and preparing for the opportunity. I go over all that in the mentorship program, Chris. I go over all that in the mentorship program and all these courses I got. I got all these courses written down. Those are all a part of that experience needed. Okay, that's my countdown. That is my countdown. Hey y'all. That is it for tonight. That is it for tonight. I appreciate everybody. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hey, Chris, look, I gave y'all, I gave you so much already. I can't give you everything. I got I got all these courses I, I put effort into. I want you to get as much value out of that as possible. The best way I can give y'all value, the best way I can give y'all the value of all the information I have is for y'all to get inside these mentorship programs, okay? Get inside the mentor, mentorship program. Like I said, it's no risk. It's no risk at all. Y'all, I appreciate all y'all. Link below, link in the bio. Y'all already, already get started. All right. I will talk to y'all another day. I'll talk to y'all. Y'all have a good night. Bye bye.